when I got diagnosed, when I got told I had six months to live, I my friend tells me now that he's I I deal with stuff privately. You know, I I have this facade that I, you know I'm not bothered, and then I you know I painstakingly go over it later on. I'm sure there's a lot of people like me, but my friend said he saw me just visibly exhale it. You hear the phrase "it knocks the wind out of you," and you don't think much of it, but that's what it did. Everything just came out of me. I just thought, "Oh God!" Mm-hmm. And then I had to walk home. My friend almost held my hand on the way home because he was worried I was going to walk under a bus just because I was all over the show. And then I had to go home and tell my wife that not only I had cancer, that I had six months to live. And I was just, I was just crying and apologising to her because I just feel like it was my fault. I'd let her down. I know deep down it isn't my fault, but... It was then crystallised in my mind that I was going to be leaving her on her own to look after our beautiful children. And it's, mm. it crushes me now. I have two minds. I don't want her to meet someone else. But I think it would be sad and selfish of me to think she's not going to meet someone else. You know, she only just turned 40. She's got a life ahead of her. And so it would be pretty selfish of me to want her to be single for the rest of her life. The thought of someone else bringing up her kids isn't ideal. But the thought of my wife having support of someone that loves her, I think I'd prefer that than her to be alone. As much as it upsets me. What I need is a good cry, and I've not had one yet in two and a half years. Have you not had a good sob? Not really. I did when I I told her the news. That was brutal. How do you tell someone? (laughs) Dying. I found that as soon as people found out you've got cancer, they write you off. The trouble is, I, t- I just told, the people I told, I told my closest friends, I told them the full story. And the clo- and I've got really good friends through work, for Escape to the Country especially, and the crew of A, a Place in the Sun, I count as friends as well. Not necessarily the production office. Mm. But I told them the full story. And they do make the wrong conclusion because I said, look, it is grade four or stage four, which means it's terminal, Mm. but not yet. So let me live my life whilst I can. A place in uh, uh, Escape to the Country, they've been brilliant. But A Place in Sun TV, Freeform Productions, I didn't get that support. They paid me off and didn't offer me a new contract. And yeah, they you know they they paid me off for the rest of the season and didn't renew my contract. So when was that? At the start, at the start, and so two years ago. Yeah. So you've not filmed any more since then. No, and I filmed and I filmed for loads of people since on location. I've even flown abroad and done private client work, but that that broke my heart. Did that hurt. Yeah. It it it, it that. That affected my mental health. Within a week, within in within two weeks, I had been a presenter. Then I wasn't a presenter for a place in the sun after 18 years. And then I turned the TV on and there's someone else doing my job. To have that taken away from you, that was my, you know, I'm a family man now. It's not the most important thing, but it's a bloody important thing to me. And to have that taken away, to have that wage taken away, to have that, to have that purpose taken away, it really, I mean, if having cancer wasn't bad enough, to have that taken away, I was, 
I was really low. I, that really affected me. 